even before the NHL, there was this team, the Canadians, and they continue their tradition in Montreal. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we see a team that was one of the toasts of the league for a while, and the while ended with the last game. They lost that one. What do you tell them? Well, let's start a new streak. Tough enough to win in this league, but they had a real good run. It came to an abrupt stop, but at the end of the day is that you have to figure out a way what you did during that real good winning streak that did not allow you to win that last game. The Canadians' philosophy should not change just because of one loss. You're coming off a game where you know you could have played better, but the best part of a busy schedule is you don't have too much time to think about your prior game. Let's start a new streak. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Price, like all the guys of his profession, lives by his wits and his uncanny ability to hold shots, not leaving rebounds for the Canadians. The winning percentage is impressive, isn't it? So he'll try to build that higher tonight. Coming off a loss, but there is faith in him here to try to turn that around. Face-off number one gets us underway. Drew Ann's a good face-off man, ready for the Canadians. Galchenyuk's out there to try to beat him for the Coyotes. No way he's getting by there. Trying to go to Domi. He's been putting the puck in the net all season. 49 goals. He'd love to see 50. They score! Wow, that's getting on the board fast. Once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. Gallagher's goal has gotten his team ahead. Boy, you can just feel the energy in this building right now after that early goal. Arizona's got another face-off win. Chip to Schmoll. Jonathan Gathered up again by Shea Weber. Directing that one to Domi. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Great save. Twist one. And still another save. What a show. Over three minutes played here in the first. The Canadians lead 1-0. Montreal's got another win. Grabbed! Watch out! A big hit! This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more, Wilcox. Looking to Drew in. So back to center ice they come on that offside. Petrie's a wrecking ball on skates. He finishes everything at both ends of the ice. As a result, he is among the very top of the league in the number of hits delivered. Neutralized face-off win. Wasn't intentional, didn't go well. Loose puck. And now it's directed to Jalmerson. Skill play by Petrie. Passing one off now to Domi. Gains the zone. Let's it rip. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. And yet another save. How does he do that? Oh, and blocked away. The Coyotes are given a hooking minor. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Montreal's offense may get a spark here from the power play. First crack of the night. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. Can start the attack going in the zone. Wonderful save. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Uh, used the skating ability to get into position to deliver that crunching hit. Clean, 
That is the way you hit. Arizona's had an aggressive mindset throughout these last 10 games. They forechecked extremely well. They've been aggressive and on the body. We'll see if they can impose their will on their opponent, who's played much the same way over their last 10. Say. Laid on to Chitrin. Set on further, they'll have to return. And that puck landed in the bench here. It's pretty cool how excited people get for a four-ounce chunk of rubber. But getting a game puck is exciting. The funny part is the players are around these things all the time, and it doesn't mean anything to them, so they just flip it up over the glass. Montreal's had the last 10 games to be admired. They've been physical, they've been aggressive, their power play has been exceptional, but they're going to get no break tonight because their opponent has been every bit as good in those areas in their 10-game segment. What a tremendous hit! I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Block it away! Demers is looking toward center from his own end. Backhander to the net. Big Patsy bombs away. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. need to look out for him. He has a wicked release, and you can see it on this play. He snaps it home from the low slot. Dred's able to clear open ice, and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. The Canadians from the neutral zone start to work. Big drive! Good work there in goal. The Coyotes have moved him all over the lineup looking for a spark from him. Nothing is going for him right now. He almost has to get himself to the front of the net and hope one bounces in off his backside. The Canadians win it. Waffle boarded. On to Demers. Great poke check there. Slides it to the point. Slid to Goligoski. To Weber. Pitching this one to Domi. Steps across that line. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Puck is thrown to Hinestroza. Back and forth they go between the points. Say! All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goal. Rounded it again. One of the great things about this sport is watching two big guys collide. The fans along the glass gotta love that hit. A shot. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. The Coyotes in their own end in possession as they travel. Well, on the heels of that, it looks like we might have some war here. Well, when you act like that, you better be ready to defend yourself. Pitching it to Byron. Pass attempt to Tatar. Shot on. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. The Canadians up the wing are moving the puck. A shot. Great point blank save. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Crosses that line. Moving it to Tatar. Scorches one. And he missed the net. He hammered that puck, and it just missed. And the puck goes to Alex Galchenyuk, former player for the Sarnia Sting. A one-timer! Turned away with the stick. Near the last minute of the first. Of this is a tough one to work for. Great defensive poke. Brings it in for an attack. He recollects it. Got it in his own end. Fires! Wonderful save. 
Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Twenty minutes have come and gone. A rest for the players as we prepare for period number two. The Canadians are up two to nothing. A look at the shots on goal. They're pretty overwhelming. An overwhelming 19 for Montreal and three for the Coyotes. The good old days. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? The Coyotes are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they've got to eliminate those turnovers. Propelled to Weber. Skates it into the zone. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Rent is literally out there by himself. Unless he can figure out a way to score some goals, they don't have a chance. He can only stop the puck. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Look out, the hits are coming. Weber's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. Score! And that for him is the big 5-0, a 50-goal season. Wow, 50 goals in a season. Congratulations. Not many players attain that number. Domi's slap shot goal would have been pulled over for speeding. Oh, he's beaten cleanly here. He has to hope that the puck bounces up over the net, but it instead deflects back down into the cage. And so he has gotten halfway to the century mark in goals. 50 has always been a magical number in this sport, and he has reached it and play back in. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. And he picks it up. In with it now. Smart recovery by Ekman Larson. Let's it go. And another strong save. Good solid poke check there. The Canadians have it along the side at mid ice. Snapping a pass to Hinestroza. Let's it go. Save. Good job with the poke check. Arizona's making their way through center ice. Outstanding body contact. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. The stick broke on the shot. Breaks the stick. I know the goaltender's relieved, Doc, that he broke his stick with that shot attempt. The Coyotes are at the wing in neutral ice. It's dumped in. Montreal skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Quick wrister. Oh, he got it. You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. Oh, what a hit that one was. Well, that one's going to rattle you around. You get hit with nowhere to lean against the boards. That one hurts. Oh, deflected away. One-time blast. Save. Terrific reaction to a scary shot. You score your 50th goal. Yeah, you're the guy at the end of the stick. You have to finish the chance. But you need so much help to get this many goals in a year. His teammates are so pumped on the bench for him. Nice face-off work. The battle for possession continues. From the slot of Rister. Got a piece of it with the glove. The Coyotes, through the neutral zone, continue on. Spirited back along, and they can get the forwards off anyway. And he gains the zone. Fires a shot. Wonderful stop. Outstanding glove on a shot that changed direction. What a shift here, Doc. They had the momentum, but the goalie gets the whistle, and they'll need to reset. Montreal's offense circles around one of the highest goal scorers in the league. While he can score off the rush, his most dangerous weapon is that quick release. They won that face off to try to generate something. Great save. Gotten quickly back. Chip to Osterley. Carries it up the wing. Airborne to Ponick. A shot. Stared him down and made the save. 
Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. A little under six minutes still to play in this period. The Canadians lead by three, going for four. Strong wrister. Wonderful save. Shot. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. Throws it. And on top of that, another great stop. Trying to go to Byron. Carries it on in from center. And a save. They score! And that's four straight goals. You want to score goals, especially off of rebounds, go to this area. Well, the goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Enzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves the rebound too close to the net where the goal scorer can grab it. The Canadians have built an enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here. The coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. They've got the draw. Pass it back deep. Directing that one to Tatar. Takes a shot. Oh, what a chance, what a save. And the puck heads to the neutral zone, and so everybody has to get reset. In the slot. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Montreal's team leans on him for offensive production. They need him to score on the power play. They need him to score five on five. And he's delivered all season long as he's among the highest points totals in the league. A marvelous job in the face-off circle today. There's an example. Tries to get it on net. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. In the and holds on to that puck to get the whistle. The Canadians have played so well from game one of this season. Their perch at top of the league standings is no surprise. Anything you need to do against them, they'll answer the bell. I like what you said there, Ray. Let's see if it holds true as this game unfolds for save there. Laid on to step on. Looking to Grafner. Muscled off. Lifts the stick and steals the puck. Good intercept the pass. Montreal's just caused another turnover. That's a big reason, Doc, they have a huge lead in this game. 40 minutes have been played in this contest and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment, third period coming up. Through two periods, here are the shots on goal. Get ready. 34 for Montreal and 12 for the Coyotes. Be sure to get next. 40 minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Canadians have had their way the first 40 minutes of play pretty much in every category possible, most importantly with this real comfortable lead. Do they sit on it or look to add to it here in the third? Save! That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Domi's made his defensive play and play away from the puck a priority to improvement. He's really shown some as he's among the highest plus-minus leaders in the league. That's a solid face-off win. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. Well, that big hit's going to really excite the crowd. The Canadians have stayed on the body throughout this contest. As a result, they're starting to slow down the opposition, and they've increased their lead. The Coyotes win the draw. What's next? Piped in the slot. Ponick's been caught with the physical play again. Oh, he's bent over, pushing himself slowly to the bench after that huge hit he received. Gains that offensive line. Save! Score! That one went off a skate. Get it to the net. You never know what can happen. 
because he doesn't hit it solidly, the goalie is fooled on it. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Well, it was pretty clear a little while ago in this game that this was not going to turn out well. He has not had a very good night. The coach looks like he's clearly fed up with it. And while the team has played very poorly, the number one way to change the game is to take your goalie out. And the faceoff's won. Is able to move on in. Oh, what a great chance, but it's off the iron. That puck struck him in front. Gathered up again by Petrie. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. The Coyotes through the neutral zone, carrying it. Picked up. And angled to Ekman Larson. Point blast! The Canadians with a neutral zone possession along the way. Pad save. Woo, tough one there. Broke it right up. Let's it go. Oh, what a stop. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. This is tiring labor. And now it's directed to Grafner. Arizona setting things up at center. Good intercept. A big, big hit. Jomers is not known for his physical play, Doc, but he's trying to give his team a spark with physical play. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. Petrie's headed to neutral ice. Goes right through him, off his glove. The Coyotes are carrying it in their own zone. It's an onside play. He's got it. Montreal's trying to bring this shutout right to the very end. Their goaltender has been outstanding tonight, and they're just a few minutes away from completing the deal. Back on his stick. Shoots one. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Pass hits a busted twig. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. And he holds on and stops play. And it's a pleasure to bring in the third voice on our crew. Rinkside, here's Ray Ferraro. Weber's laid the body on all over the place tonight. He's been like a one-man wrecking crew. Okay, Ray, let's see how it goes for him here. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Just spoke to a representative from the road team. They're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injured player won't come back. Great save. And freezes play for the whistle. The equipment guys and the dressing room personnel are important. They've gathered up the towels and picked up the tape from the last opponent, and now they'll get ready to take care of things after this new opponent has finished up for the evening. The home fans hope that they'll have frowns on their faces by the time they pull out, because this is a long home stand. One-timer, he scores! had this feeling, Doc, that eventually, with all that work, they were gonna score. Hill's not gonna be able to stop this perfect shot up into the top of the net. If he's going to be able to do it, he's gonna have to be more aggressive, get out farther in the net. Just a little bit too much room up top. Montreal's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period for the opposition. At least, that is fortunate. Hammer made that stop. They keep working hard on the boards. Quick shot. Big bad save. The Coyotes are skating it up in neutral ice. Cousins should try to do a little less in the offensive zone there. Tremendous hit. Well, I guess that's a bright spot, Doc. There's not been too much that they can find into the positive column tonight. That hit is one of them. Very little power as he glides back to the bench after being on the receiving end of that hit. Save there. Oh, that's a big hit. That's going to leave a mark. He's 
slow to his feet. An important faceoff for his team, brilliantly won. Play stopped. That puck is just held. The Canadians get the draw. Puts one on. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Steps in from the neutral zone. Knocked off. In the slot. Oh, patched off on the redirect. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Freezes play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Solid face-off win. Cursed by a broken stick. Looks ahead to start something. Arizona setting up an offense from the wing. And he dumps it in. Passing one off now to Drew in. Knifing his way near the boards. On to Demers. He believes in H in hockey, meaning hitting. Pitching this one to Domi. On the outside, a shot. And a save. Arizona's got the puck in the neutral zone. Went to the backhand. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Game over. The Coyotes have to be totally confused by all of this. They can't reverse the momentum of losing. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.